Welcome to the Regular Stuff YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to be cooking some ribeye steaks on my Blackstone and also some just some frozen broccoli. I'm going to steam it on here. Uh, now I've already had these in the oven and they're already up to temperature I guess you could say. Uh, never done a cooking video so bear with me. I usually do mechanical videos on my other channel. Go check it out, Square Body Stuff. I'll put a link in the description box below. You can go check it out if you like old Chevrolet and GMC trucks. But we're gonna reverse sear these ribeyes that I actually raised myself and sear them up on this blackstone with the broccoli. My process, what I like to do first is uh, get them thawed out, take them out of the package and put a nice nice layer of salt on them, not too heavy, uh, and put them on a rack and put them in the refrigerator overnight or for 24 hours or as long as you got. I mean, sometimes, you know, if you're in a hurry and don't think about it, you do it less time. But uh, So I pull them out of the refrigerator, let them kind of get to room temperature. I put a little bit of avocado oil on there, uh, which you can use olive oil or whatever oil you prefer. Uh, then my seasonings are... Uh, Garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. Just a little little bit of extra salt after I pulled them out of the refrigerator. Uh, both sides, put it on this rack. And then I put, put them in the oven uh, at about 200 degrees for uh, maybe 45 minutes, sometimes an hour. I've left them in there for a little over an hour before and I forgot about it. And they still turn out really nice. Now I like my steaks rare to medium rare. Uh, my wife likes hers done a little bit better, so I'll leave hers on the out here and, and cook a little bit longer on the blackstone on a on a cooler section once I get them seared. Uh, so this is how I reverse sear steaks. Uh, I'm not a professional at it, but I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. Doesn't mean it's the right way, but this is how I do it. We're also going to steam these uh, broccoli florets. So let's get started. First of natural, you got to get your grill all nice and warmed up. This thing is cold. I haven't even fired it up yet. Uh, it's actually 30, 33 degrees. I guess, I don't know if you can see that or not. But... Now when I'm warming mine up, uh, even if I'm just going to be using one burner to actually cook on or two burners, uh, I turn them all on so my, my plate will get a nice even heat to begin with. Uh, once I get this side, this is where I'm going to be cooking my broccoli. Once I get it up to, I'm not going to get it to searing temperature, uh, I'll let it warm up about 350 degrees or so 300 degrees then I'll, I'll cut the heat back down and then start steaming my vegetables on there I'll let this side continue getting warmed up all right our grill is about 300 degrees I'm gonna cut the heat down on these two burners a little bit let these continue going nice and hot just pour them on there Put a couple of chunks of butter. Probably should have buttered the griddle before I put it on there, but this butter will melt down in there. A bit of salt and coarse ground pepper. A bit of water. And let them steam. The nice thing about having one of these guns, you can actually get an idea of where your where your heat zones are, because the front part of your your griddle is always going to be a little cooler. Uh, you can use that to your advantage, but you can you know this this section right in here is always going to be the hottest. Uh, but you kind of run this thing around and kind of see what your temperature differences is. That way you can use it to your advantage while you're cooking stuff. I think I'm going to go ahead and put some butter down. 
Uh, you can either use oil or whatever you like to use. I, I like to use butter to put on my grill. I'm going to go ahead and put my wife's steak on there first so it'll have a little more time to cook. I'll, I'll get it good and seared. And then I'll set it over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this burner off because it's going to stay warm enough for the broccoli right there. And cool off this spot just a little bit so I can put her steak there after I get it seared. I'll put her steak there. That way it stays a little bit warm. and cooks a little bit longer. About 475. Being a little cooler outside, it's not going to get as hot. I'll do about a minute and a half or two minutes or so on each side on hers. Get a good sear on it. And now I don't have a stopwatch, I'm just kind of going to guess. Oh yeah, nice and crispy. Almost looks like bacon. Sit on the edge, the edges get good. Set hers right there where it stays warm, it'll cook a little bit more. It gets a little smoky out here on the front porch. I usually have a turn my fan on so it's kind of an exhaust fan. I got one on each end of the porch, one blowing in, one pulling out, but uh, it makes too much noise on trying to video, so we'll just have to deal with it. Nice steaming hot plate of ribeyes and broccoli on the black stone. I'm going to cut into this, see what it looks like. If 
That's perfect. At least for me, it's perfect. Well, I've got hers cooking just a little bit more. I'm going to take a bite of mine. Mmm. That's good. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, it's my first time doing a cooking video. Uh, I don't know. Let me know how I did. Give me some comments down below. Uh, if there's anything I can learn from you guys, I'm more than happy to learn. Because I'm, I'm not the best cook in the world, but I get by, as you can tell. There's plenty of, plenty of food gets in me. So, I'm going to finish cooking my wife's steak. Get it ready to go for her, because she likes hers a little more well done. And we're going to go in there and eat and enjoy. So until next time, y'all keep your regular stuff going. So until next time, y'all take it easy, and we'll catch you later. Ooh, you can see how smoky it is in here. Look at that. Like a Cheech and Chong movie in here. <laughs>